I just know this is how it went down. That he would ask these people what they made their pipes out of. And they said, pipe stone. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> So all I'm doing here is um, cleaning up any saw marks it might be, or, or actually there shouldn't be any saw marks. I sanded this down, but I like to I like knife marks. A nice nice sharp blade leaves a shiny um, finish. That's what all I likes. What Bilbo likes. Yeah, we should make a make a, a hobbit pipe as well. Oh yeah. Well, I've got a uh, nice stone. A pipe stone. <laughs> pipe stone. Yeah. They they call uh. Well. George Catlin was, you know, he's famous painter of the 19th century, he went around mm -hmm. painted, documented as many of the indigenous peoples as he could. It seemed like everywhere he went, people had these beautiful pipes, and m many of them had a uh, real nice brick red colored bowl. And uh, I just know this is how it went down, that he would ask these people, what they made their pipes out of. And they said, pipe stone, duh. <laughs> and well, it didn't sound official enough for a big time explorer. So, seizing the opportunity, it's been known ever since as Catlinite. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go to that quarry sometime. It's in Minnesota. Yeah. There's another one in um, Illinois, I think. I think it's either Illinois or Indiana. The Pipestone, Minnesota, has the red stone, um, mostly. And uh, uh, Illinois or Indiana stone is uh, mostly like a yellowish tan color, if I'm remembering it correctly. I've never had any of that to play with. But it looks like it carves well. And the pieces that I've seen made out of it are well detailed. I want, of course, of course I want to carve a pipe stone pipe with an effigy of a man carving a pipe stone pipe. <laughs> you, know, you gotta do that. Don't tell anybody. Secret. What we're gonna do today is make a cup. So all I'm doing here is uh, cleaning up 